Hello patrons, welcome back to your exclusive Saturday playthrough of Game Dev Tycoon. And just before starting recording this, I got some really good news. I got my dispatch email this morning for my brand new PC. And literally a second before I pressed the record button, I had to stop and look. I got a message from the delivery service saying that my PC is arriving tomorrow and I can't wait. I needed a little boost. And that's certainly done it. What is this? This is E3. Let me just... I wish this didn't pop up straight away because I wanted to check my game history to remind myself what the hell we were doing. We moved into the new office. We have access to large games but I don't think I've researched it yet. We built a new engine to end the last part from memory. I can't remember what I added to it though. And I think we had two really good successes, right? Because I mean we're sitting at 40 million so yeah we must have done well. I don't have any games selling right now therefore it's technically pointless to waste this money at E3 which is a bit disappointing. That said, if I was to quickly press to spend and then quickly develop a game it will generate hype via E3 so I will do a medium booth and I will I was going to hire someone else as well let me just quickly check game history oh yeah Dragon Quest 12 did well Dance Dance Republic did well Team Hospital did fantastically all right yeah so we're going to develop a new game straight away um it's just going to be a new game PlayStation 2's out the Xbox is out but I haven't built anything on that yet I'm still doing well on the DS, it's just fantastic. The game sphere is out. Can I make a shooter yet? Can I make a... Well, a mature audience wouldn't do well on that, though. It'd do better on. Let's make a mature game for the PlayStation. A medium mature game. And it's going to be a... Uh, an action adventure game. And it's going to be on Super Saiyan level 6 we're up to now. Unfortunately, I can't just tell it to be like a shooter, can I? Is there a military uh, subject? UFO, yeah, yeah we could try UFO, I don't, I have no idea what UFO will fit into as a character, does UFO fit action adventure? <laughs> if I was doing this on the GameCube I could have made it perfect dark, but I'd rather try and make a mature game. We'll call it, uh, please don't probe Uranus. And it might be a failure, but we're sitting on enough money that I think it should be okay. Let's, let's do it, and it's going to be 2D graphics. Oh, that's what we made in the new engine, 2D graphics version 4. So we're just going to stay 2D forever. Indie for life, yo. So I just want to make sure the music isn't coming out my monitor. There we go. I had to take off my headset for a second there. Because I was moving stuff around on my desk. I didn't realise the PC was going to be delivered so quickly, but I'd still started doing the prep. So I now have two monitors on my desk, ready for arriving. Right, so. Uh, Action-adventure... Gameplay is going to be massive. I would actually say all of these deserve to be quite high. And I've got the people to handle this. Raymond Simpson. I hired the new Baldwin guy for tech as well, didn't I? Yeah, I did. That leaves Gregory and Baldwin to help with the next step. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think that's okay. If nothing else, we'll blow like, say, a million making this game. And we'll get tons of research as a result. Christopher Rignall from eGaming Check. eGaming Check? That's a really weird name. Uh, well, yeah, sure, I'll share some info. What's my expectations regarding the, oh, <laughs> regarding the success of Please Don't Probe Uranus? Um, do I hype the shit out of it or not? Oh, E3, it's going to get hyped at E3 as well. Screw it. Okay, yeah. I'm going to hype the shit out of it. I'm getting a lot of tech bubbles, which is promising, but I think that might just be off the back of this being a new engine. Okay, so action adventure. Dialogues probably doesn't need to be that high. Level design, I would argue, needs to be high. Artificial intelligence, I would argue, needs to be quite high. Now, I'm on the brink of being overworked, but everyone else is pretty okay. Gregory on dialogues? Yeah, I guess so. We want all this stuff. Go for it. So what's weird is, now that I know that my PC is arriving tomorrow, by the time you hear this, I'll already have had the PC for a couple of days. So you'll probably have already heard me, you know, going on about it on Twitter. I might even try and get out a little kind of, you know, not an unboxing video, but a setup video. Someone asked for that. That's a new record, especially for only a medium sized booth. Oh, it still showed off Dragon Quest as well. That's fine. Still not getting into the top 100, despite our previous successes. It's not amazing amounts of bubbles, actually, because weren't our two records roughly 100 in each of them last time? The hype, though, my God. That's a lot of hype. So action adventure. Yeah, we can probably do that. Who's this on design? Raymond, he's higher than me now, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's go with that and see what happens. I should probably hire someone else as well, so 
let's also do... We can't do exactly half a million, can we? Fine, you know what? I'm going to blow a million searching for someone who's absolutely amazing. But what do I want them to be good at? I'm good at design... We've got two tech guys, two design guys. In fact, we're, yeah, we're, we're basically right down the middle. A million on a game demo. Because I think that means it'll be a really good middling guy. So let's do it. Blown a lot of money nice and early this time. So that's more like it. I mean, look at tech. That's amazing. But design is way down, which doesn't have or leave me with high hopes. Uh, Wyatt Orts, Dana Black, Martin Person. Hmm. It's not great, really. 40440. You've got good tech, but your speed and research is a bit slow. But even then. That's a really good tech. Oh, wow, that's even better. 550, but your speed and research are even slower. I want someone who's quick, actually. So although her tech is, what, 551? Jesus, that would give her the boost special ability straight away. Now, Martin Person, I think, I think you're okay. Yeah, we'll hire you. Hire someone famous. Oh, is that like a parody of, of Notch? It's not his actual name, but it's actually rather close. I guess it is? Alright, anyway, we're done here, right? I think that might be a new record in tech. It is. Way down on design, though. Good. Good, 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 good. This is all great. Actually, no, it's not all great. I need to pay Gregory more money and I hate him. Oh, you are, you are pushing it, buddy. You are pushing it. Ah! Oh, wow. Tons of this stuff is amazing. Basic physics, save the cloud, mod support, motion video. We need all this. We need all of this. I'm not, I'm not getting any time to raise my people because I have to keep on researching other stuff. Oh. Also, I hate that this new office kind of... Oh, wow, this is a failure. I wasn't expecting that. If it was just okay, it should be a five. Not bad, not good. It should be a five. These people don't understand how averages work. Meh, okay. A four is fits being a meh. And uninspiring, I would say, is also a four. But those two should have been fives. What else were we doing? Oh, yes. Martin needs the... Uh, welcome back. Yeah, I hate that I can... Like, do this and shift to the sides. Strategy games do well. Fair enough. Let's see where we went wrong. With please don't probe Uranus. Wait, I have a rest bar now? Can I go on holiday? No. I can research something then. I am going to research... Oh god, these all take tons! All of them are at least 80. Well, well hang on, no. Video playback isn't. Basic physics isn't. Save to cloud. Mod support. Oh, that was my... Uh, let's do basic physics and get Gregory working. Oh. Okay, so me hyping the game in and out. Oh my god, I'm becoming Peter Monty Flakes. Right, Gregory, you can train and do achievements. I like achievements or trophies. Whatever word you care to use for them, I like them. Also, I need 100 research for multi platform, which is probably a good idea. So once they're back from holiday, we will just go straight into making another game, I guess. I want more research points. We are making a massive loss on Please Don't Probe Uranus. That's for I am sure, and we'll find out exactly what went wrong in a second. And I probably will have to end this part with making yet another new engine as well. Right, come on. It's a good combination, not great. Dialogue is not important, and the genre match is great. So yeah, it was just down to... Well, what was it down to? Hmm. Oh wait, alright, here we go. Uh, did we not? That said, we should try and focus our entire team. So I've been selling like millions of units in the last time, but this time I can't even break a hundred. That's not a good start, but let's try and do better, shall we? Develop a new game. There's another message on my phone. Am I suddenly popular on Twitter? Has it finally happened? <laughs> Pick platform. So, strategy games. Strategy games do really well on the PC, so we're definitely doing it on the PC. What kind of strategy game? I am getting popular on. <laughs> anyway, um... Right, so yeah, strategy, we're just doing strategy, I'm not mixing and matching. What kind of strategy game does well? Or let's, do, yeah, dungeon strategy game, that's interesting. Oh yeah, let's make, um, Dungeon Keeper. So, dungeon strategy game, PC, 
Dungeon Keeper's for everybody. I, I would say it's not quite mature enough to deserve a mature ring, and we will just call it Dungeon Keeper. I wonder if the game dev people are like really big fans of Bullfrog, so this will give me some special uh, result as well. Uh, yeah, Dungeon Keeper. 2D graphics version 4. Let's go for it. Everybody pull your weight or you're sacked, Gregory. So, engine is apparently really important. Gameplay is okay. Story and quest, not so much. Let's get Greg doing story and quest then. Okay, and then that leaves these three to do the next stage. Yes. Right, we've still got 35 million, and I think this is going to do better. So, I'm going to do a little bit of marketing. Let's just do ad uh, advertising, and then we'll do a small campaign towards the end of the development cycle. Yeah, please don't probe your anus was a colossal failure. So it's a strategy game, dialogues won't matter, level design will be huge, artificial intelligence is probably huge as well. So level design is definitely design. We'll get Raymond on that because he's actually better at it than I am. We'll get our new tech guy on artificial intelligence. Um, yeah, and then Diego can do something in stage 3. Yeah, okay. It sold 80,000 units, that's all, and it didn't even quite break a million. How much of a loss did I make on that? Actually, the loss wasn't terrible. It was 300 grand. That, considering the cash I'm sitting on, that wasn't a lot. So I'm actually not... I'm not upset about that. That's fine. Good. Okay. And let's do... Uh, now, if this one fails, however, this could be bad. Because I'm actually going to sink a lot of money into this one. EPA. I'm an employee for the Environmental Protection Agency and have an offer for you. Your company has a high electrical footprint right now. If you would install solar panels, you could decrease your footprint and save money in the long run. We would sponsor 50% of the cost, which brings your investment to 200,000. Yeah, okay. Smiley face. Right, so stage three. World design. Graphics apparently don't matter. Sound unknown, but we don't need it eating into a lot of time. Okay, so... I want my new guy on graphics. Megan can do sound. And that leaves Baldwin to do world design? No, no, no. No, we can make Baldwin do that then. Then everybody's done something. Yeah. Okay, we're not getting as much hype because we aren't off the back of E3 this time. It's still quite high. It's a new record for tech again. Design, once again, is also pretty low, unfortunately. Actually, no, it is going up. We've got to get rid of those bugs, though. Uh, Flix Gaming Stuff has recently installed solar panels in their office. While the video game and software industries are one of the cleanest industries on Earth, they do eat up a lot of electricity, so installing solar panels can really make an impact. Did that get me positive fans or something? I wasn't really paying attention to what I started at. Okay, so there go the... Oh, no, no, I just did a bug. How dare I? And then Megan fixed it. Okay. Is that two new records? No, I didn't think so. I'm pretty sure this was over 100 last time as well, so I'm, it's a bit worrying that it's not again. But we're getting better at using the engine, and that's the important thing. Gregory, you can piss off on holiday. Diego, oh, damn it. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, that, that that's a good thing to see. I like that. It's not a 10, but still. Alright, an 8 from Informed Gamer. They're twats. Oh, a 10 balances it out, though. Yes, okay, that, that went well. This should do good. That was like an average of a low 9, right? Generate game report, 8.75, yeah. So practically a 9. And in its first week of sales, it did more than double what probing Uranus or whatever I called it was. Uh, industry experts predict that we will see the next generation of video game consoles as early as next year. Okay. The PC industry has not been reflected in gaming consoles yet. Okay. Microsoft and Sony are in a race. Okay, yeah, we know we know what's coming. Yes, the, the 360 and the PS3, of course. Okay, so we have enough to research one of the more expensive things that we have access to now. Oh, good, we got half a million in sales. Excellent. Who's good at research? I think I made Gregory good at research, right? Hey, you're back on holiday. Back from holiday, rather. Now get back to work. Simple body language, that's just weird. Hmm, I like mod support. Surround sound is interesting. Mini games is interesting as well, so is large projects. 
Virtual economy. I, I'm I'm tempted to get that just because I don't understand what it is. I'll get virtual economy and I'll get large games. So Raymond, you can also research large games just to give me access to that. And I assume it will trigger some kind of tutorial about what, how those work in this game. When I started playing Dungeon Keeper, I had no idea what I was in for. A wonderfully imaginative game world makes Dungeon Keeper a joy to discover. You will spend hours travelling through this world. Rarely will a game captivate you as much as Dungeon Keeper by Andrew McNara from Game Informant. And just in time, the market has normalised again. Great. I can't remember how it told me to do this kind of design thing. Can we do some contract work while we're waiting? Like something just simple? Yeah, <laughs> that won't take long at all. Just do that, just for the hell of it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Dungeon and strategy, great combination. Story and quest, not very important. Additional insights. Martin Pearson is new to the team. A few more games and the team will have higher potential. Okay, fair enough. Um, the sales are still going, actually. How much would a large booth cost? One and a half million. The sales are really good, though. They're going to break a million. Yes, yeah, screw it. We'll go for a large booth. Come on, break a million. Come on, now. They should jump back up after E3, so... Oh, it's so close! Yes! Million units. So I suppose I should also make a new e engine, but I think I'll make one more game first, then do yet another new engine. Hmm, <laughs> competitors have been observed muttering jealous remarks. So what should we make? Should we do a sequel to something? Hmm... Now let's just go to develop new game for a second. How is the... Well, it's obviously going to be in that engine. How's the market shares here? So PlayStation's got 18.4, Xbox 17.7, DS. The DS is still going strong. Although they are all pretty even. The one that doesn't is the GameSphere. I don't think I'm going to bother going to the GameCube. Would have loved to have made GoldenEye, but still. So what should we make? Let's try and do something a bit different. So before I pick a platform, let's see. Pick a topic. What's a new topic? We've done Hospital, we've done Dungeon, we've done Superhero, we did UFO, but it failed miserably. Actually, I've got I've, not, I've got enough research to quickly research two new topics, so screw it, let's do that. New topic! Oh, horror! Yes! Let's make Slenderman and be rich. And then you can also research a new topic. Um, these are all pretty sucky. I'll get transport just to make, I don't know, like your truck simulator. Don't knock that game, I like it. <laughs> it's very relaxing. Oh, wow! That is an impressive booth! This better make a big difference to sales for costing a half a uh, one and a half million. Okay, we've definitely got more attention. That's for damn sure. We might actually, yeah, we broke half a million people visiting. Did we get into the top one hundred? Yeah, we did. Seventy first. Nice. Now, how big a difference does that make to sales? Let's see. It'll be after this week. It'll be this week here. Um. Yeah. Okay. It's not a huge difference. It might make them linger longer. We've shipped 1.2 million units. So yeah, let's do... I, hmm. Well, hang on. No. Topic. Yes, I'm getting confused. We're definitely doing a horror game. So it's going to be a... A casual simulation game? Would that count? What is Slenderman? Slenderman is a casual... It's not a simulation, though. It's a... It's a Action? A casual action game, a casual adventure game? This irritates me, these are too broad now, or they're or vague rather. Adventure, action, hmm. No, screw it, I'm going for simulation. It doesn't make any sense, but I'm going for simulation. It's going to be for Mature, and it's going to be on the PC. And it's going to be in the new engine, obviously. And it's going to be called... Batman. Horror Casual Simulation. I suspect that this will be a colossal failure, so I'm, going to just, I'm just going to use it to farm research. I won't blow any money on advertising. And we'll see how it goes. Right, so... Horror Casual Simulation. Engine, yes. Gameplay, yes. Story and quest, no. Oh, did I pick... Did I pick small game by accident? I did, didn't I? Well, it's definitely going to fail now. Whoops. Gah. Clearly my head is not in the game today. Well, it's going to be very cheap to make, if nothing else. Yeah, just leave that wherever. 
I'm not even getting any research for this now, that was a colossal mistake. If I make the new engine now, then that'll create quite a bit of research. Yeah, just... <laughs> is this going to be a failure? I'm disturbed that it's getting so much hype when I've spent not a penny. Um, yeah, okay. You know, indie companies are allowed to make small games every now and then. Ah, right, so Dungeon Keeper is off the market. It shipped 1.3 million units and it generated 14.2 million in sales. Oh, you bastard, you put a glitch in at the last second. You're fired. You're gone. Pack up your bags. Take your Minecraft and get lost. Speaking of which, I should probably make Minecraft if I can do that now. And Megan decides that she deserves more money. I wish real life worked like that. Not as an employer, but as an employee. Ho ho! Why does it make you cry? Just because it's a short game? Short games can be beautiful, you know. I don't like that it seems to artificially rate a game based on the length, unless there was just like some colossal mistake with the... Um, the uh... Oh, I like that it's a modern PC now. It looks like the one I'm going to be getting tomorrow. Like the, the genre matches. It's all ready shipping, you know, almost as much as the anus game, and I bet it cost me a lot less. Also, I probably shouldn't refer to it as the anus game. Ah, there we go, yep, so it was a bad simulation, uh, casual simulation is a bad mix with horror, rather. Casual does bad on the PC, excuse me? Have you not played indie games? Then the audience match is great. Alright, uh, what was the other game I was talking about just there, because that was giving me an idea for... Also, I should definitely... Is it going to give me a tutorial about large games, no? No. Uh, well, you know what we should do then? Well, hang on, what topics did we just get? We just got horror. Um, a mature horror game. A large one. It's going to be a action RPG. And it's going to be on the PlayStation 2 in the engine, and it's going to be called... Resident Evil. Yes, and if this fails, I will make a new engine. In fact, even if it's six E's, I'll still make a new engine. But hopefully it'll get me enough research points to get a few more things I can bung in a new engine. Yeah, you remember that classic Resident Evil? It was 2D on the PlayStation 2. Right, so action horror engine is probably going to be... Well, action stories and quests... Gameplay, let's assume engine is probably going to be quite bad. Ah, it isn't all assigning anyone. Good. So engine is definitely tech, so we'll get Baldwin on that. Gameplay is design, I assume. So I'll get me on that. Story and quest is also design, I believe. So we'll get Raymond on that. Okay. And let's, at this early stage, blow a tiny bit of marketing. Just a tiny bit. Hmm. <clears throat> Stop scratching your head, everybody, and get back to work, including me. With your triple monitor showing off. Good bubbles for stage one finish. Right, so horror action. RPG. Level design, I would say yes. Artificial intelligence, I would say probably doesn't matter too much. Right, so level design is obviously design, because it's in the name. We want Raymond if he can do it. Ah, oh, no, he can't do it. Well, what about me? Can I manage it? No, we're both getting our asses kicked by being overworked. That's unfortunate. I put these up. Does that lower? Yeah, it does lower that. Okay. He's going to be overworked, but we're overworked either way, so nothing I can do. Um, dialogues or artificial intelligence. Megan, you're on artificial intelligence. Martin, you're on dialogues. Okay. So as it turns out, my people are a bit... Oh no, it seems Fat Man had quite a few bugs. Uh, no, it didn't. It had one. They demand we patch the game. Uh, that was a game that isn't doing well. If you want to patch the game, then click on a character and use the action menu to develop a patch. Well, I'm in the middle of making another game, so no. Plus, it's only... They didn't even break 40,000 units sold, so screw them. Quite frankly. I could technically hire some. Oh god, here comes the 360. Remember when the 360 first got shown off? If you don't go see it, and just then remember all the time you actually spent with the console, and 
Whether or not anything that they said on the stage that day was true. It wasn't as bad as for the Xbox, actually, come to think of it, but still. Uh, we've not got a lot of hype for this at all, so let's just do some more magazines. Yeah, but I, I definitely can't patch a game right now when I'm making a new one. Plus, you know, it's artificial, because there wasn't any, there was one bug when I released it. So let's resound a little bit. World design is very unfortunate that I'm overworked with design here. Okay. I'm going to have to raise them up just for by virtue of wanting to keep that down. So graphics 308. No, actually, I want Megan on that if possible. Ah, I would overwork her as well. What about Martin? Nope. Okay. 103. 100. There we are. Do I have to put Gregory on this, really? Can you manage it? Screw it, we're all we're in the crunch. If you don't know what the crunch is, that's when a big game is almost released. And the company expects or demands that all their employees work for days and days and days straight without leaving the office. And rather famously the people who were building Rise kind of gloated about how many pizzas they'd bought during the crunch for their team, like it was a good thing that they were keeping people from their families for so long just to get a subpar shitty game out. The recent pleas for Fat Man seem to be unanswered. Many fans have voiced their disappointment. Fuck you fans, fuck you. No one bought that game anyway. Maybe if you'd bought it I would have spent more time on it. Alright, get rid of the bugs people. I think that might be a new record for tech again. I'm, I don't understand why my design is always so low. Right, are you, are you quite finished? No. Oh. oh. You. Go. I said finish, damn it. There. Oh, that wasn't a new record, damn. And just as they get used to using the engine. Oh, actually, no, that's the graphics, not the actual engine. So Diego wants more money. Yeah, that guy I just sent on holiday, he wants more money. Dynamic environments. 2D graphics version 5. Alright, I'm so glad I waited to build the new engine now then, because I need that. Uh, no, I want game report, please. Uh, no. Why am I not getting the chance to tell someone to do a game report? There we are. Game report. Alright, please don't suck. Why is this sucking? I don't understand. They achieved a... What the hell? That's a compliment. Why is it getting a below average mark? I guess it must just be like some kind of built-in gimping because it's a large game. Well, that's artificially lowered that score, but that's fine. So we have to research the new graphics. What do I need for it? We need 150 research. That means I need to churn out a couple more games then. Oh, your bar needs to go. Ah, where people... Oh, it's because I overworked everybody, maybe. That's why. Okay, the 360 is out. Get on vacation then. And then once they're back, we'll just churn out another game. I'm still sitting around the same amount of money, hilariously, given the failures I've been having this time. I don't see any point in hiring someone else either, really, until I do large games. Now I understand I can't do large games until I have a full team. Uh, that's a good combination, story and quests aren't important. Well, that's really good information, why don't you tell me why it failed? Nope, okay, it just artificially failed then. Ah, there we go, self-publishing large games. So yeah, it artificially failed me because I don't have enough fans. Fair enough. I wish you'd given me a warning about that in a tutorial before, you know, I started making it, but whatever, I guess it's it teaches you harsh lessons. So we're not doing E3 because we're not doing a game, and the game we did make is selling poorly, so let's just go straight back into... Oh, they're not quite back yet. There's one back. Yeah, you just beam down from the Enterprise. Excellent. Develop it. Let's do a sequel. Let's do a sequel to... Dragon Quest 12. I mean, it did really well. The DS is still a thing. So yeah, sure. Let's do a sequel to Dragon Quest 12. Platform. It's going to be on the DS still. It's going to be called... Dragon Quest 1. Because I like to confuse people. Fantasy RPG. Did I make it both those last time? I must have, because it's auto-filled it. Uh, dra no, let's, let's call it Dragon Quest. You'll buy it because that seems to be a thing that happens at least in Japan. I tried a Dragon Quest game once and other than having the fantastic art of Akira Toriyama I don't get why they're they're popular. They don't do anything for me. Maybe I just played a bad one mind you. I only tried the one and there's bloody tons of them and they're as successful as Final Fantasy. So fancy RPG, story and quest, whoop. gameplay done a little bit, engine done a little bit. Raymond you're good on that I think. I'm fine on that. 
Yeah, Diego, you're fine on that too. All right. We might get uh, one of those events that's like, you're making a sequel to a game. Would you like to comment on why you're doing this? <laughs> okay, curtain killing from gamers. Yeah, I'll do an interview. Um, yeah, I'll hype the shit out of it again. I'll just, I'll go full Peter Montalex and now just buy a, a Bill shitty god game ripoffs made for phones and whatnot. And pretend that they're innovative. Dialogues, so level design is definitely designed. Raymond, that'll put you to it. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that's okay. And then Martin's on this. Yeah, okay. The goal here is not to make a success, really. The goal here is to get to, what was it, 120 or 200 research? God, that's going to take at least one more game, I think, at this rate. Also, after this game, I'll need to check how long we've been going for. Because I have that habit of losing track. World design probably needs to be higher, and I can take it, so why the hell not? Graphics, I would like to be pretty, but... They don't need to be too high. Um, should, should I get Gregory to do something? <laughs> sure, Gregory, you do sound. Truck on. I should definitely give him some training sometime. I like how many bubbles these are getting. I don't understand why they're getting so much more than me trying to do like something ambitious like a large game, but it's working. Oh, I didn't notice the strong audience was mature, but who cares. So Resident Evil actually did ship 133,000 copies and it sh made almost 2 million. I mean, it's still going to be a loss because I hyped the shit out of it. Yeah, I lost a million and a half. And Fat Man lost me 400,000. Dungeon Keeper did well though, so I'm still technically in profit so far today. Get rid of those bugs please, that's actually a disturbingly large number of bugs. It's probably Gregory's fault. In two months the Xbox is going to be gone, in two months the GameCube's gone. Oh, here comes the Wii. The game everybody bought for no good reason. Sorry, the console everybody bought for no good reason. Yeah, yeah, nobody cares. No nobody, nobody cares. Thank you. Alright, Gregory, piss off on vacation. You're giving my game too many bugs. Alright, they're gone. Release the damn thing. I think this is two new records. No, it's not. It's one new record, but it's in the one that I like getting a new record in. Fine. And I don't have to pay anyone any more money! Skill trees. Oh. Okay. Let's just... Actually, what was... How much do I need for... Oh, it's 150. So yeah, one more game will do it, actually. Hopefully. Generate me a game report, Martin. Let's see, it cost me 1.6 million to make it. I'm seeing tens. It went down pretty low after that though, unfortunately. It's fine though. It means I'll make a profit if it stays around about there. Okay, that's good too. Alright, okay. Come on, be a 9 or a 10 to balance that out. Ah. I think I'll still make a profit on this. I didn't spend any money on advertising, so... Let's see here. That's good first week sales. It'll break half a million, I think, at least. Yeah, good. So, I think I... Yeah, it was spawned. Good. And that's actually going to make sales even better. Yeah, it's going to break half a million. Yes. Dragon Quest, you'll buy it. So better. The excitement for the game seems to have no end. Is that going to make that go higher? Oh, here's the post-release. Graphics are quite important. It is? Oh, look at that! It might actually break a million. And while it's doing that, let me just quickly alt-tab. Go to my window here. So we have been going for over half an hour. I really wanted to end with, like, making another engine. How much did I need to get? I keep on forgetting. It's 150 for that, and I want that a lot. There's so many other good things as well, though. We'll quickly do a mature game. Just very quickly. One last game to finish this part. So it's going to be mature... Uh, platform, who has the most mature audience? PlayStation 2? Nope. PC is plus plus plus, so yes, it's mature. It's going to be a military... Do I have military? No, it's going to be an alien game. It's going to be an alien... action game. Just an action game. And it's going to be called... Uh, Hug My Face. And it's going to be medium, because apparently I need... What was it? 250,000 fans before I do large games? Yes, I also probably need more staff. Get on with it, peons. This is the last game for this one. Although you actually technically are getting more videos this month because August of this year has five Fridays, five Saturdays and five Sundays as I mentioned in a recent Let's Look At, uh, not Let's Look At, Let's Chat. So that means you get five Patreon videos and I hope that goes some ways towards thank you for your generous 
donations. Uh, gameplay needs to be way up for action, I think. Engine... I like engine being high. So, Diego's on engine. Let's actually get... Raymond on that, and we'll put Gregory on stories and quests, because they don't matter much, so, you know, let the... Let the red-headed stepchild of the office... Granted, technically, Raymond is that, but, you know... Metaphorically speaking, Gregory is the red-headed stepchild of this office. Oh, it is going to break a million. Come on, just a tiny bit more and it'll break a million as well. Dialogue's way down. Level design way up. I should probably do something, so let's do that. Come on, just a tiny, tiny bit more and it'll break a million. Yes, it did. Nice. Um. <clears throat> We just got word the Dragon Quest, you'll buy it, has reached over 1 million in sales. Bubbles for this one ain't that great. My hype is actually surprisingly low. Let's do magazines and demos. Okay, so world design I would say needs to be way up. That way up. That way up. Everybody's doing something. Uh, yeah. No, I don't want Gregory on that actually. That's, Martin's got much higher skills, so go for that. And I have enough, or will have enough research. Which is nice. The hype is really, really low though. It's a, I mean, my last game did so well, you would think I would have an inbuilt hype bonus. Oh god, here comes the Wii. Everybody will buy that. Let's do a little bit more hype. No, it's just a small campaign. I've got high hopes for this. And quickly get rid of those bugs because I think the market just normalised there. God damn it. So we shipped 1.1 million units and we made 12.3 mil and the bloody market normalised. If I didn't wait, but I had bugs, so I had to wait. So I made a profit of 10.8 million on Dragon Quest, you'll buy it. And there go the bugs. Let's go. Okay, new record in tech. Very nearing 200 there, which is nice. Oh, I need to pay myself more money and also Martin. That's fine. Realistic weather, advanced stereoscopic 3D. I can't even say that. Stereoscopic, sorry. 3D. Interesting. Right, let's get the thing I mentioned to kind of start wrapping up here. I want tons of his other stuff as well, but we'll definitely take that. That leaves us with 49. Oh, right, here we go. That was going from 1 to 10, so that implies it's going to be in the middle. Okay, hug my face, got a 7. Oh, and then an 8. Good, bring that average up. I'm okay with that. And that brought the average right back down again. Be a 10. Hmm, beautiful. You would think a comment of just, that, that's just beautiful. I would give more than a 7, but no. Right, Gregory, you are going to also research. We've got 49 points left over. What else is going to be really good? Branching story sound. I make a lot of RPGs, so I think branching story might just do it. Hmm. Skill trees would be great, but I can't get it. <laughs> Stereoscopic 3D, I can get, but it's too early for that. I'm way too early. Hmm. Branching story. And we will end by making another new engine. And then we'll make a few new games next time. And build another new engine. Because there's tons of stuff here that I need to research. So Hug My Face is doing okay. It might get to half a million sold. And if it does, I think that'll be a profit. It's trailing off pretty steep. Oh, oh and then went back up though. Dave Johnson here. CEO of Departure Sat. Oh, I actually did the right voice. I was thinking Cave Johnson. And it is actually Cave Johnson. Some of our test subjects were recently exposed to some of your games and, surprisingly, they didn't go totally insane. They seemed to quite enjoy the experience, in fact. Anyway, I have some products that need advertising and could do with some product placement. My marketing boys tell me that making you this offer is a bad idea. That's exactly why I want it. I'll pay you 200k to place some of our fine red painted exploding barrels in your games. What do you say? Oh. I, st I actually stretch back. Can you hear I'm further away from the mic? I stretch back in my chair because... Hmm. I, I mean, I'm not against product placement, it's a thing that has to happen, and this doesn't, I mean, games have to have red exploding barrels, they're a thing everything needs. Everybody needs, rather. Sure. Okay, you place them in a game where they'll fit. So how, how do I do that? I don't understand how I do that, but okay, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll put the exploding barrels in my next game. Do I have to research it, maybe? Do I see exploding barrels here? Um, 
dynamic environment is technically that, but I wouldn't think that's what they mean. No, alright, well let's make a new engine to end this part with. End as we ended last time. So we want to create a custom engine, 2D graphics version 5. It's going to be Super Saiyan level 7. Super Saiyan level 7. We want branching story. Do we need linear story? No, because that's the increased version of it. We also don't need simple cutscenes because we have advanced cutscenes. Save game multiplayer, basic physics going in for sure. Achievements we want for sure. Yep, we want all this, all this. I don't know what virtual economy is, but we'll want it. I still haven't spent over a million on an uh, engine yet. I technically could with this one if I wanted to, just for fun. Like I could do that and... I don't know, version 1. Oh. There, just, just so it's exactly a million that I've spent on this engine, even though I'm blowing 200 grand on nothing. I think there's an achievement for spending over a million, you see, so... Sure, let's do it. See how long it takes them, how much research we generate while doing this. Hug My Face is still selling. It's trailing off now, though. I'll stop in a second. Um, yeah, small booth. And we're nearing 200,000 fans as well, as we also get into year 20, or halfway through year 20 of the game. Racked up over five. It did actually make half a million. Hmm. I mean, it did. It didn't get bad marks. How much did it get again? It got. Uh, it got exactly a seven. We don't quite know. I'm, I'm already in profit, but the sales haven't finished yet. So it was worth doing. There goes virtual economy. There's. Oh, here comes the PS3. Nice. I like that graphic. Doubles is a Blu-ray. I like that they can just write Blueberry properly and that's their pseudo name for it because the real way is spelt with a U. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we'll be getting into the very near gen next time then. Yes, come and see Hug My Face. It's not a rape simulator, I promise. We, we're not going to get in the top 100. No way. No, it didn't even break half a million. That's fine. We've already been there once. Yep, there we go. Invest over a million in a new engine. Hooray! Great. And we'll send you on vacation. Did I not generate a game report? Alright, generate a game report then. Alright, and as Hug My Face finishes, we'll get to see that and then end there, I think. So, come on. Finish your sales, please. It'll be any second now. I'm amazed it sold over 600,000 units. Thank you very much for your support. As always, patrons, I hope you're still enjoying Game Dev, Dev Tycoon. I still am, so I hope you are. We did indeed get some research to spend next time as well, which is great. Right, there we go. So it sold 630,000. It generated 7 million in sales, and that is a profit of... Well, we'll find out after the game report. Great combination. Engine's not very important. Genre match, good. Right, we made a profit of... 4.7 million. So we're ending with more money than we started, which is always a good sign at 52 million. And I shall see you next week, hopefully. Ta-ta for now.